Hello and welcome to this video about Sijiriya, one of the most magnificent and iconic landmarks in Sri Lanka. Today, we will be exploring the rich history and cultural significance of this ancient rock fortress, and taking a closer look at its breathtaking architecture and stunning frescoes. So sit back, relax, and join us on a journey through the ages as we uncover the secrets and wonders of Sijiriya. Sijiriya is an ancient rock fortress and palace located in the heart of Sri Lanka, and it is one of the country's most important cultural and historical landmarks. It has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason. The history of Sijiriya dates back to the 3rd century BC, when it was initially used as a monastic retreat for Buddhist monks. However, it wasn't until the 5th century AD that Sijiriya was transformed into a palace by King Kashyapa. The king built his palace on top of the rock, which stands at over 200 meters tall, and adorned it with beautiful frescoes and gardens. The palace was designed with a complex system of water gardens and fountains, which were fed by an intricate system of tanks and aqueducts. The gardens were used to cultivate a variety of fruits, vegetables, and medicinal plants, which were used to sustain the king and his court. One of the most impressive features of Sijiriya is the frescoes, which can be found on the western face of the rock. The frescoes are some of the finest examples of ancient Sri Lankan art and depict beautiful women, believed to be celestial nymphs, in various poses. The women are portrayed with long hair, graceful bodies, and adorned in jewelry and flowers. The climb to the top of Sijiriya is a challenging one, with steep staircases and narrow pathways. However, the views from the top are well worth the effort. From the top, visitors can enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding countryside, including the nearby Padurangala Rock, which offers a stunning view of Sijiriya. Over the years, Sijiriya has been the subject of numerous legends and stories. One popular tale tells of King Kasyapa's demise, who fled the palace and took his own life in the face of an impending invasion by his half-brother. Despite its rich history and beauty, Sijiriya faced many challenges over the years. The fortress fell into disrepair and was eventually abandoned, with its gardens and frescoes fading away into obscurity. However, in the modern era, Sijiriya has been restored to its former glory. Today, it stands as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the people who built it, and a reminder of the rich cultural heritage of Sri Lanka. Visitors to Sijiriya today can explore the ruins of the palace, climb the steep staircases to the top of the rock, and marvel at the stunning frescoes and gardens that still remain. In conclusion, Sijiriya is a true marvel of ancient architecture and design, a symbol of the power and wealth of Sri Lanka's ancient kingdoms and a must-visit destination for anyone interested in history and culture. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed learning about this incredible fortress. And there you have it, the mysteries of Sijiriya uncovered. We hope you have enjoyed this journey through time, exploring the history and legends that surround this incredible fortress. We encourage you to visit Sijiriya and experience its wonders for yourself. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we hope to see you again soon.